Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this session, we are going to do auto scaling instances in AWS using Terraform. So, first of all, what is AWS auto scaling? In AWS auto scaling, groups can be created to automatically add or remove instances when certain thresholds are reached. For example, your application layer can be scaled out when you have more visitors. This is really helpful when you have peak period. You don't have to pay for instances just to sit there. You can launch two instances when you have more visitors based on CPU users or memory or bandwidth. You can trigger these scaling events. To set up auto scaling in AWS, you need to set up at least two resources. You need an AWS launch configuration. This specifies the properties of the instance to be launched like the AMI ID, the security group and so on. An auto scaling group, this specifies the scaling properties, the minimum of instance that you want to have, the maximum of instances that you want to have and how health checks should be performed because auto scaling groups can also do health checks. That means that when one instance stop working, then auto scaling group can start a new instance for you. Once the auto scaling group is set up, you can create auto scaling policies. A policy is triggered based on a threshold. It is actually a CloudWatch alarm, what you are going to set. And when that threshold is triggered, it is going to execute an auto scaling policy and adjustment will then be executed. For instance, if the average CPU utilization is more than 20%, the CloudWatch alarm is going to be triggered and then you are going to see a scale up event by plus one instances. This plus one is also configurable. Another example, if the average, the CPU utilization is less than 5%, this will be then another CloudWatch alarm then scale down by minus one instance. So the plus one and minus one instance is the policy, the CPU utilization that is less than certain percent, that is the CloudWatch alarm. To use auto scaling, first of all, the launch configuration and the auto scaling group need to be created. Here is an example of an example launch configuration. First of all, we specify a name prefix which is an in our case example launch config then the image id which is the ami id that's going to be launched it is going to be the same ami id that's going to be launched when you have multiple instances so if you are going to have let's say five in instances in this auto scaling group you will have five instances based on the same AMI ID. The instance type in our auto scaling group is the same in the case T2 micro. Then you specify key name and then you also specify security group. So this the launch configuration and then we are going to define the auto scaling group itself. We specify a name this is the example of auto scaling. Then we specify the VPC zone identifier. This is just saying in, in what subnet are you going to launch the instance. You can also specify multiple subnet here. So let's say that we have two instances. One instance will be launched in one subnet and the EU will be launched in the Europe subnet, for example. For high availability, because if one full subnet goes down, then you still have the Europe subnet. Two is often used, but uh, you can even specify three. Then the launch configuration just refers to the launch configuration that we above. And then we go, in, go into specific uh, minimum size and a maximum size. Um, minimum size, one is going to a launch one instance and max size can be or can ever be higher. 
if the min size is 1 it will start with 1 and then an auto scaling event needs to happen for instance cpu uses that goes higher to increase that in this case we have not defined a party yet so the only way you could scale here is to manually instruct your auto scaling group to scale here we are going to use health check as well you have a health check grace period in second and then you have a health check type if you are going to use a load balancer then the load balancer can do the health checks for you in this case we don't have a load balancer then we will just use ec2 which is the instance itself if itself says that there is a problem with for instance the physical hardware then is going to be removed from this auto scaling group first delays is also true which means that instance that are kicked out of the auto scaling group are automatically deleted and then every time that we have an instance launched by an auto scaling group we also want to make sure that there is a name that is specified here we specify ec2 instance as a name and we are going to propagate that at launch time so this really auto scaling group itself but now let's say that you want dynamic increase or decrease of instances then you can create an auto scaling policy and to create a policy you need an aws auto scaling policy in terraform this is how it look like resources aws auto scaling policy here we have an example cpu policy that you are going to link to our auto scaling group if this policy is triggers then we are going to do an adjustment this adjustment type is just going to be a change in capacity and we are going to scale plus 1. If you want to reduce capacity then we would put minus 1. Then you have a cool down period. This is a period when where no scaling in events can happen. And then you can specify a policy type in this case it is just going to be the simple scaling then you can create a cloud watch alarm which will trigger the auto scaling policy so when do you want to trigger this plus one here we have an example example cpu alarm this is going to compare the cpu utilization we have a metric name cpu utilization we are going to compare greater than or equal to threshold we are going to compare two evolution period so we are going to take the average of two period and then compare those and that needs to be higher than that threshold this is a namespace aws or ec2 we we specify a threshold is equals to 30% and if the average of a cpu utilization is higher than 30 percent for a period of 120 seconds for two evolution period the alarm will go off and the auto scaling is going to happen so we specify also the dimension where you specified auto scaling group name and you specify the alarm action where you referred to the example cpu policy that is going to do a plus one if you want to receive an alert for instance an email when the auto scaling is invoked you need to create an sns topic sns is a simple notification service in aws you create a resource aws sns topic you give the name and a display name to then subscribe to this topic you are going to have to use the aws console because even subscription is currently unsupported it is because you only get the id the arn is amazon after you confirm the email to subscribe you just add the email 
in the SNS topic and then your email is linked to it. Here we have called it example notify. You specify the group names, you specify a topic ARN and then you specify when you will get notifications. Here when instance launch you will get notifications or terminate or when there was an error. So I hope you all are clear with this. Now I am going to show you how auto scaling groups work with auto scaling policy. So as you can see I am going to use Visual Studio Code Editor for this. So this is my code or we can say script. Let's see the content of our file which is main.tf. So in new terminal simply I am going to say get cat main.tf. Now this will show the content of our file as you can see. Everything is here is the same as I discussed in the theory. Here is the auto scaling policy as you can see in this auto scaling policy I added a scaled down alarm scaling adjustment is going to be minus one. So here is an example of scaled down alarm. Now I am going to run Terraform apply which is going to create this auto scaling group. We have to provide the region. So in my case it's US East 1. Then for confirmation if I say yes then 6 resources will be added and 0 resources will change and destroy. So I am going to say yes. Now it is going to launch the instance. Apply complete. Six resources have been created. Now I am going to take a look in AWS console. So now as you can see our instance is now created. So here is the instance and it is in running state with T2 micro type and here is a private IPv4 address that we need and here is instance ID. Now let's have a look at auto scaling group. So here is our auto scaling group example auto scale and with configuration web config and you can see minimum capacity is 1 and maximum is 2. In auto scaling we have policy with remove one capacity unit and the execution execution when the breaches the alarm threshold CPU unit is greater than or equals to 5 for two consecutive period of 120 seconds. So now let's have a look at CloudWatch al alarm. So here is our alarm and you can see CPU utilization here and that's it for this lecture. I hope you understand these things. So now we have to destroy our we have to destroy our auto scaling group. So here we can manually delete this, this group. But in Terraform, in one command, you can destroy whole the stuff. So in Terraform, we have to just say Terraform destroy. And now also we have to specify our zone. So US East 1. So again we will ask for confirmation. So again I will say yes and here we go. Our whole stuff is going to destroy now. So that's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next lecture. I hope you all guys are clear with this. So if you found this video helpful then share this video to your friend and subscribe this channel and stay tuned for more Terraform technical video. Bye, thank you for watching and have a nice day.